Hey, welcome to my channel. I'm Di with Sister Chicks Quilting, and I have a, another fast, fun Christmas present that you can make without a pattern. And this one even makes up faster than 40 minutes. I'm sure you've seen them before, but this is a soup bowl cozy. It's reversible. You can put whatever side you want on your soup. Just flip it like that. And if you've always wondered how to make them, you don't need to look them up or make a pattern. I'm going to show you on this video. But that one was for the engineers, by the way, because he wants to put corn in everything. Every time I make soup, oh, it sure would be good with corn in it. <laughs> well, not. Anyway, mine has chicks in it because I'm Sister Chick, I guess. To start off with, you're going to need two coordinating pieces of fabric, or it could be the same piece of the same, the same fabric. So one for the front and one for the back or vice versa. So for each one, you need one, two 10 inch squares of fabric and make sure it's cotton quilting fabric. Then you're going to need two 10 inch squares of cotton batting. And this is very, very important. You have to have 100% cotton batting to put inside the microwave. Now I saw out there that there's another type of batting that's made for the microwave. You know what? It's 100% cotton. And I've been making these with 100% cotton since before that was around and they work just fine. So that's your whole supply list. Let's get started on how to make them. Okay, here are the supplies you need to make these. A ruler. My favorite one is my little everyday, I call it my Omni Grip. It's a 12 by two and a half and a pen that erases when it's heated up. So what you do is you draw a line directly down the middle, a good line so you can follow it from end to end and cross it right over the middle. That one is like, hmm, let me see. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was off. Okay, there we go. So we, we put a big X in our two lines like this. And I have the other one already marked up. And this is what you do. You take one piece of the fabric and on the back side of the fabric, you lay this with the X or the cross that you made face up. So you fold it at the line and I always use the back of my scissor like this to make sure that it's good and the fabric is good and stuck up there. And then I'm going to fold the one exactly opposite from this on the line as well. Like so. And I'm going to put a pin in to hold it. Then I'm going to do some more measuring. And I'm going to measure two inches down from the center line and make a mark just so I know it's there. And then from this outside side, I'm going to measure one inch. So let me make sure you understand that because this is a part you don't need a pattern on. When you folded it like this, you measure down two inches and you put a line or a mark. And then from here, you measure out one inch and put another mark there. And we're gonna make a dart. We're going to sew that up just like so. And that's what gives our bowl the shape. So here we go on the second one. And then we can mark this side as well. So there's our one inch from the center and our two inches down to make our little dart. When I fold it together, I want to make sure that my pieces of fabric are all in there. So that's why I use these scissors to kind of hold it and press the fabric down in place and I use a pin. 
okay? And then I can mark it two inches down and one inch from the center out. That's it. We do that on both pieces of fabric. Let's go to the machine and sew those now. Now that I have all four of my pieces put together and marked, I'm just going to line the little two inch line, which is right here. I'm gonna line it up with my cluck cluck sew diagonal tape. And I'm just gonna stitch that right in. I'm gonna flip it over to this side without even cutting. And I'm gonna line again those two marks up on the seam line, boom. That then we'll do it again. So I have two of the bowl pieces done. And what we do next is we turn one of them right side out. That way we can put the right sides together and nest them just like this. And I finger press the seams and that's what we do is we match them at these little dart seams and just stick a pin in because we want them to match all the way around. And when we sew it together, and I sew a very scant quarter inch or almost an eighth of an inch around my cozy, I'll start sewing here and go all the way around and end up here. So I have about a four inch turning hole, okay? I never even use pins on this. I just make sure the piece I'm sewing is lined up pretty good and go for it. It doesn't have to be exact. So I'm going to start right here sewing my fabric and I am going to need my stiletto but we're going to give it a back stitch to hold it in. Go to the seam line and then pivot. do I'm gonna go back a little because make sure your batting and your fabric line up The next thing you want to do is clip your corners. And I'm going to do more than just clip my corners. I'm going to trim down the sides a little bit to make it easier to fold. And when you get to the pivot point, I'm going to snip down so it turns easy, like you would a curved seam. And I'm going to do this all around the piece. Then the fun part, we're going to turn it through our opening. We want to press these seams down. I, I have it turned and all pressed out on the seams. And the next step is just to sew it shut and top stitch all the way around about an eighth of an inch.
and it's time to say, ta-da! If you really want to give it some shape, put a bowl in it, and it just kind of wraps around the bowl. And then these are very washable. They make the cutest gifts. You could give a set of four with maybe some homemade soup. There's just so many fun things you can do and people really appreciate these. I had a lady at my office ask me to make these for her because she said her and her husband eat soup all the time and they don't like to burn their hands on the bowl. So there you have it. Another fast, easy Christmas gift that you can probably make out of some charm packs or some of your stash. Merry Christmas, we're getting closer.